Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever in the world and welcome back to another video. So, once again, back in the kitchen and uh, I'm going to do a potato, onion and kind of a soy oyster Chinese sauce um, just for my dinner. I'm the only one here, so yeah, let's show you some ingredients. I've already prepped them and let's get into cooking. Should be nice, simple, straightforward to follow. So yeah, let's do it. So folks, ingredient wise, so I've got three medium sized potatoes there that I've just cut up into chunks. Into small chunks, it's entirely up to you, large, doesn't really matter. I've then got some red onion. I've got the stems and the bulbs of four spring onion. I've then cut the rest of the spring onion up for garnish. I won't be using all of this, half of this will be going on another recipe. In the next dish, which you will see tomorrow, I've then got a half a teaspoon of sugar. I've got a cup or around 120 ml of water. I've then got ground white pepper, which I'll add towards the end. Sesame oil, dark soy, light soy sauce, and oyster sauce. So that is the ingredients. Very straightforward, nice and easy. Yeah, let's get cooking. So folks, I've got the pan heating up. As you can see there, it's on a medium heat. So it's, I've got it on number six on this induction hob. So just a medium heat. And we're just gonna go in with a little bit of oil. So I'm just using a little bit of vegetable oil here. About two and a half tablespoon. Don't need to put too much in. Now I don't need this to be fully hot and sizzling at the moment. So I'm just gonna go in now with the potatoes. And the idea with the potatoes is we're just gonna cook these, um, not move them too much. Let me just get them coated first actually. Let me get them coated and then what we'll do I'm just going to leave them brown for about two minutes, two and a half minutes and I will come back when I swap them over. See ya! I'm in a good food mood Good food mood so folks I've given these two minutes on a low heat on number six I didn't want to burn that oil now what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn it up to eight we're going to get these sizzling we're going to get them browned once it's starting to go brown on the edge um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on and let them steam for about five to seven minutes and uh, we'll come back once I do that. So folks I've given these two minutes on a low heat on number six I didn't want to burn that oil now what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn it up to eight we're going to get these sizzling we're going to get them browned once they start to go brown on the edge um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on and let them steam for about five to seven minutes and uh, we'll come back once I do that
So folks, these have now been in for around six and a half minutes, seven minutes. As you've seen, I did give them a stir and a little test with a knife. So let me just go back in with a knife just to see how things are getting on. Yep, so they're starting to soften now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the red onion. You can use white onion if that's available or even shallots. Uh, that's shallot. Um, and what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to go in at this stage with the spring onion stems. I'm just going to give that a good mix up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep stirring this now until the fragrance from the onions start to come up and then onions are softened just slightly. Um, I will then come back and show you what we do next. See you in a sec. So folks, this has been cooking for a couple of minutes and I can now smell the fragrance of the onions. So I'm just going to go in now with the sauces. So I'm going to go in with a one tablespoon or thereabouts of light soy. I want a tablespoon of dark soy. These are just estimates, you don't have to be spot on. And then I'm going to go in with two tablespoons of oyster sauce. So that's one tablespoon of light soy, one of dark soy, and roughly two of oyster sauce. And then we've just put quite a lot of salt in there. So this is the time now I go in with the sugar, half a teaspoon. And we're just gonna give this a good mix up and a stir just to get those uh, flavors jamming. I'm letting this escape out just out the corner there, Never mind. But the aroma is already just off the soy sauce and the oyster is amazing. So I'm just going to cook that through and then I'm going to come back and we're going to add the water and we're going to cook it down again. Make it nice and uh, sticky, we don't want a soup. So yeah, I will see you in a moment. So folks, this is at about a minute half, two minutes. I'm now going to go in with the water. I'm just going to give that a good mix up. Oh yeah. And then at this stage, what I'm going to do, if you can see down here, I'm just going to reduce the heat back down to six and I'm going to cook this now for about five minutes give or take um, and we'll come back and then we'll add the spring onions and the sesame oil and the white pepper so yeah I will see you again in a sec So folks, this has now been cooking for around five minutes. Now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ramp up that heat 
all the way up to maximum so it's back on nine and what we're going to do is we're going to cook all that water out um, it shouldn't take long at all but yeah it's going to be absolutely delicious the aromas are already filling the kitchen Get this in there. so yeah I will come back in about a minute where I will then add the rest of the ingredients so I will see you in a sec So folks, as you can see, most of the liquid is now gone. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with around a teaspoon of sesame oil. Just got to be careful with this one because it hasn't got a little um, lid thing on. Don't need, don't need a lot of that. And then I'm going to go in with some white pepper. Just about a quarter of a teaspoon in there and then to finish it off I'm just going to add some of these green onions, spring onions in and I'm going to give it a good stir. But yeah the aromas are fantastic. So next up I will see you at the dinner table. So folks, time to plate up. I've got to say it looks amazing, smells amazing. Let's just hope it tastes amazing. Let's go in there with a bit more of them scally onions. So that folks is my tea. Let's have a close. So folks, what do we think of that then? Nice, simple, easy to follow recipe of potatoes, onions, and a little bit of sauce. Not too bad, not too much going on, but hopefully it should be delicious. So first off, let's go in there with one of the potatoes. Um, as you can actually see on the other side, this has been browned, which we did right at the beginning. Mmm, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I'm getting salty, a little bit of sweetness, a bit of white pepper. That is great. Let's go in for a Spring onion, scally onion, whatever you want to call. Oh yeah. So first off that onion is just nice and sweet. So it's still got a little bit of a crunch to it, but not too much. But that sauce has got down inside of the um, kind of the petals there, which has kept like just nice and gooey and sweet inside mm. yeah. so simple yet so delicious I'm gonna enjoy this um, this is my dinner um, as I've said on a few previous Kind of want to keep away from the rice and stuff a little bit too much, but potatoes are kind of a staple. So, thank you once again for joining me on another video, and until the next time.